Whether you're celebrating a summer holiday, hosting a family reunion, or having a backyard barbecue, you need food, drinks, decor, activities. What you don't need is to go over budget. L. Hall Coleman of Girlfriend's Budget is here this morning to help you throw an affordable party that everybody will enjoy. Yes. That's a good secret. I like that. <laughs> okay, you. so you have a big crowd coming over for something this summer, mm -hmm. and it all starts with planning the menu and making the shopping list, right? Yes, absolutely, for sure. So um, first, to talk, we have to go over our food and our drinks and, you know, all the things that you need to have a party. So, yeah, we can talk about the food first, because that's my favorite part. All right, so <laughs> let, let's, uh, let's start with the food. What are some ways to keep the food costs down? Okay, so I always suggest having a one pan or one pot meal, um, also a crock pot meal. So we're going to go over a couple of options here. Um, for the one pan, I would always suggest something like a casserole, maybe baked spaghetti, something like that. But mm -hmm. what we have here is one of my very favorite. My grandmother used to make this for me all the time. It's called hot tamale pie. It's so my grandmother used to make that too. It's delicious, <laughs> isn't it? So I'm yeah. going to sprinkle this with a little bit of um, dried parsley. You can use dried or fresh parsley. And really, it's very, very simple. I mean, it's five ingredients. It's a little bit of ground beef, some corn, a little bit of salsa, and some taco seasoning. Just throw some cornbread on top of it, and it's so hearty, so delicious. Um, this recipe costs maybe about $8. You want to try it? Oh, sure. Yeah, about $8, I'll take a yes. To make um, a small portion, to make a larger portion, it's about $16, but it really feeds a very large crowd because it's so hearty and and filling. What if cooking for a crowd isn't my thing? Okay, so if cooking for a crowd is not your thing, then... Eating it. Yes, <laughs> Miami too. Um, I suggest doing like a potluck. So you can always make one of these meals, like let's talk about this crock pot meal right here. This is called ranch chicken tacos. So easy. That's what smells so good. Yes, again, <laughs> only five ingredients. Um, we just got some chicken here, um, a little bit of ranch seasoning, um, some taco seasoning, and a red wine vinegar. And you just kind of mix this up in there together, throw on your favorite toppings. I'm gonna throw a little bit of cheese on here. And some cilantro on these. And a little bit of pico. And you can make it look really, really nice and very delicious. And this only costs actually about less than $20 to make. So, and it feeds a large group of people. What if you're having a gathering later at night, like after the fireworks maybe, on mm -hmm. the 4th, or after a sporting event, yes. concert? What are your suggestions for keeping costs down? So of course by this time everybody's had dinner. So maybe desserts, you can have an assortment of sweet treats, some fruits, cookies, brownies, whatever you like, just to give your guests a little bit of something to snack on while they're there. You have some drinks. Drinks can get expensive, especially yes. if you're serving alcohol. How do you stay on budget for that? So I always suggest making a big batch of drinks instead of giving everybody their individual drinks. So That's what we're going to do here is we're just going to make a quick little drink. Okay, um, I'm going to move out of the way. Yes, I call I'm this. I'm over here with my tamale. <laughs> yes, I call this um, cranberry sunrise. So what we're going to do is we're going to put about four cups of cranberry juice in here. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay. And this pitcher, you can um, get this pitcher from the dollar store. And it's just a dollar. I'm put a little bit more. It's just a dollar for this pitcher, and you can make it look really nice. And nobody will really even know it's from the dollar store. <laughs> so here we're going to put about two cups of this orange juice here. Um, this makes it cranberry juice, orange, orange juice. juice. Yes, this makes it the sunrise part. And then to give it just a little bit of oomph, a little sparkle, we're going to add a little bit of ginger ale into this. So, and of course, this is a virgin drink, but if you like to add alcohol, you can add whatever alcohol you like. I used to be a bartender, so I love, oops, I love you making drinks. You know your drink. stuff. Yes, okay. I love making but drinks. Doing it in a pitcher is a really good idea. Absolutely. Instead of individually. That doesn't Absol make a lot of sense. Absolutely, yes. So, what we'll do here, just to make it a little bit prettier, we'll add in a little bit of fruit. So oh, that's nice. dump that in there. Yeah, and you can add frozen fruit, actually, to instead of ice. Um, so that it keeps it chilled. And then we'll add in some orange slices there and just kind of give it a stir. And then your guests can serve themselves as they, as they like. Okay, quickly before you get away, mm -hmm. ideas for decorations that aren't gonna cost you a ton of money. Yes, so these decorations right here. I say keep it simple. You know, you wanna make it nice, but keep it simple. This arrangement I actually got from the dollar store. It cost me about $6 to put this all together. I also suggest some candles with a, um, a vase. I um, got this from the dollar store as well. And it's really nice just to have the candles lit. It creates the ambiance mm -hmm. for the party and it, it just 
Makes it really nice for everyone. And finally, games and activities. Yes. Or if you have kids. Yes. You can set aside a little table um, with some games. We have dominoes here. We have Hollywood game night. We have card games. Anything that you can think of that you already have hanging around your house. Maybe your friends can bring their games over too. And just enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful summer. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming Thank in you. and sharing your tips. Thank you. You can check out Elle's blog and website at girlfriendsbudget.com for these and other money-saving tips.